Okay, this is a brief presentation on type 1 versus type 2 errors. You'll probably recognize this box from your intro ed research classes or other classes that you may have taken elsewhere because it's a pretty um, reject. Why won't it give me my R? Zoom out. Reject. And then do not reject. Notice I do not say accept the alternative. Say do not reject. Okay. So when you have a null hypothesis that is true, saying that there is no effect and that is accurate, that there is no effect, but you still reject it, we call that a what? I'll give you a minute to say it out loud to yourself that a type 1 error. Okay, so what happens when you have a true null, meaning there is no effect, and you don't reject that null? You say, yeah, I'm not going to reject that. What is that? It's a correct decision. Correct. Okay. So let's say you have a null hypothesis, but it's false. Like there's something going on here. There's not the null going on. And you reject it. Another good decision, correct. And then let's say you have a null that is false and you do not reject it. So there is an effect there, but you just can't seem to find it. That would be a type 2 error. Okay, so this should be a brief review over type 1 and type 2 errors, um, especially since you all should have had intro to educational research. So you may not need this view, and that's good. So, um, and good luck.